Hello, all you wonderful people out there. Now, I've had a hard time getting holograms to work. Uh, trying to get the lighting, trying to get the, the images to come across. But this is just going to be a brief video I'm trying to show the Mega Metal hologram cards that came with the trading card set. If I get the lighting just right, they can come out. Um, and I don't know how many uh, holograms there were. I know there's a Slayer one that I don't have because I have a good friend who has one. And I believe it was from this same series. So I don't think the seven that I show here is a complete set. But they are pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we move the lighting over here. See if it worked a little better from this side. But yeah, you can see the LA guns and Slaughter. Bon Jovi, Skid Row. Yeah, these, these look really great to the naked eye. I mean, you, like I said, it's hard to get the camera to pick it up. But uh, I wanted to take a quick attempt at it. And there you have it. Those are the metal, hol metal holograms. Mega metal holograms. So now let's uh, get some real light on the subject here. And we can actually show you the cards now. Because uh, I love that. That's the Maiden Up the Irons box, which I actually have right here because I was just trying to make a video of that set the other day. Still working on that project. And uh, the Maiden Number of the Beast cover, um, Fear of the Dark. Yeah, they uh, did a lot of Maiden in this set. So it's almost like a set of Iron Maiden cards, which is really cool. If you like Maiden like I do. Um, but what got really weird was that uh, they followed Iron Maiden up with Robert Plant. Now, I like Robert Plant. Fine. I love Zeppelin. But I never, ever considered Robert Plant to be a heavy metal vocalist. Um, maybe you do. Um, but I didn't. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Those, those, those are a bit out of order. I think I had them out of order for, for a specific reason. Uh, I don't know what that reason is, but I had them in an order that I wanted to show them off. Uh, we've got Nico there on the drums, and Bruce Dickinson on vocals, and I believe that's Steve Harris, and Adrian Smith, and this is probably Jack Gears here. Um, let me see here. Um, yeah, Jack here, Dave Murray. Adrian Smith was gone from Maiden at this time. He left after Fear of the Dark, and since they had Fear of the Dark cover there, I'm assuming that he wasn't a band member at the time that these cards were made. So, uh, all apologies to Dave Murray there and Adrian Smith for getting you two mixed up. <laughs> but, uh, these things happen. Power Slave cover, Made in Japan cover, Peace of Mind. Yeah, and that, that's all the Maidens. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at the backs now. So you can see the backs because uh, I'm sure I took these out of sequence because I'm much more of a Maiden fan than any other band that's presented in this series. And uh, so I wanted Maiden to be on top because you can see that the cards there are 28, 29, 30 for the top row, and 34, 35, 36 for the bottom, so, yeah, I definitely have them out of order. Um, but it was just because the way I wanted them shown in the book. Uh, and, going back here... I haven't looked at these cards in years. I was going through the closet trying to see what cards I had that I could share with the world. And these are like, oh yeah, these are great. I remember these. I'm not sure which way I was going there. But I know we were headed down. Because that's the end of the Maiden. 
And after that, you get the two rubber plants. And like I said, nothing against rubber plant, but he ain't a metal head in my book. All right. So, who's next here on these cards? And it is Bon Jovi. Okay, well, let's skip Bon Jovi for now, okay? I know that's a little... I'm jumping around on you here, but... Um, oh, heck. Just the way that these cards are laid out, we're going to go ahead and stick with the Bon Jovi because there's not that many Bon Jovis, and then we move on. I was going to jump ahead to Judas Priest because to me, Iron Maiden and Judas Priest are the two biggest metal bands in this series. Uh, bon Jovi's more pop pop metal to me than, than real metal. Yeah, his first couple albums were pretty good. I like Runaway, you know, Slippery When Wet was a, was a huge album. Um, I, I don't hate Bon Jovi. I'm just not a huge fan. It's uh, not a band that I really have a strong interest in. Uh, but I know he was very popular, and there's a lot of fans out there. And I know there's people who appreciate seeing these more than me. But um, that was my thinking there for just a second. I was like, yeah, I'll just skip over Bon Jovi and jump to Judas Priest. But they're not in full sequence. We'd be overlapping with other bands as well. So there you've got your Bon Jovis. And then we've got one... Uh, is this Death Angel or can't even read the Dark Angel? Well, I don't even know Dark Angel. That's a, that's a new one on me. I know Death Angel, uh, which is a great band, but hmm, never even heard of these guys. Let's see what they say about them here on the back. But um, yeah, that's a new one on me. And we'll hold off on uh, Dio. Dio starts up next. We'll hold off on him. We'll get the backs of these uh, Bon Jovi cards here for you guys to see. And then we'll uh, call this episode good and start part two back up with Ronnie James Dio. Now the, that's another band I was a huge fan of and a singer. Well, Ronnie James Dio is a person, but Dio was a band. So if they're both, it's a person and a band. Uh, unlike uh, Jethro Tull which, or Pink Floyd, which... There was no Jethro and Jethro Tull. But anyways, um, a lot of bands did that, just like John Bon Jovi did Bon Jovi. You know, they named a band after one of the, usually the singer. But not uncommon. But yeah, I loved Ronnie James Dio. Uh, I liked him with Rainbow. I liked him, loved him with Sabbath. I loved him solo. Uh, and, um, you know, back and forth there at the end with Heaven and Hell. And definitely, definitely a talented singer that we miss greatly. So there you go. That's covering the Maiden and the Bon Jovis. And we'll be back with Ronnie James Dio in a few. <laughs>